TV. Subscribe now. Appropriately prepared, the Ram lineup is appraised to tow up to almost 10,700 pounds. However that is for a tradesman general taxi with a since quite a while ago overnight boarding house discretionary V8, in fact not the most well known model. A short bed team taxi with a V8 still tops 10,000 pounds in many arrangements, in spite of the fact that the Ram's tow rating is exceptionally subject to the trim bundle and the haggle setup notwithstanding the motor and drive wheels. Far from the asphalt, the Ram conveys an agreeable ride and ok ability. Slam Rebel models are the most go romping prepared of the pack with their standard 33 inch off road tires and discretionary slip plates, however, they need slope plunge control and a locking back differential. Smash offers two diverse exchange cases. The base framework isn't appropriate for use on dry asphalt, yet, the program setup included on higher spec models, other than the Rebel, can be left in set it and overlook it mode. Ram stand separated from their opponents for their motors, as well as for their suspensions. Certainly, there's a boxed stepping stool outline underneath, yet the Ram's strong back hub is held in by curls instead of the leaf springs normal to trucks. This gives a smooth, agreeable ride, with little of the backside bounce endemic to unladen trucks. An expensive discretionary air suspension is accessible on each model however the effectiveness arranged yet it conveys a considerably smoother ride around town in five distinctive tallness settings. Just at expressway speeds, when it digs into its most reduced level, would it be able to feel excessively firm? The Ram's controlling is exact and light, if without feel. It's more agile around town than its size would recommend. However even sport trim levels aren't precisely gulch carvers. On the interstate, the Ram truly makes its mark. It tracks both straight and doesn't appear to be resentful about crosswinds.